Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and yes you read the title correctly. Finally after months of work conversion tracking with enhanced conversions is working however you need to install Google Tag Manager. I will teach everything for free. Uh, all I ask is if you have the time to leave a review that would help my business out. So let's go and have a look at how it should look like so in google ads we have a demonstration here for shopify uh, gtm pixels so google tag manager and if we hover over the status you can see that enhanced conversions is enabled and also consent mode so the consent mode is very good for the eu clients and for uh, non-eu uh, clients you don't need to worry about that but you should enable it if you can um, but enhanced conversions, as you can see, it is all working. So what you need to do is, if you have no Google Tag Manager account, go to the website linked in the description, tagmanager.google.com, and go and create an account. If you already have one, you can skip this step. But let's go ahead and just create one. We will just call it example.com. and the container name also. We want to choose web, click on create, read and accept, click on yes. Now what we want to do is double click on the ID itself. So we don't want to copy GTM hyphen, just the ID fine is fine. So we want to copy that. If you don't see this pop up, don't worry. We, you can go to admin, install Google Tag Manager and here you can see it again. So let's copy this. Then from the website you will be able to copy the code and what you want to do is in the last line for the uh, initialization of the GTM tag is double click the 123456 number and you paste your own ID. So don't replace anything. Then just copy everything, so highlight everything copy it and then we want to go to Shopify so what you want to do is go to settings customer events and then click on add custom pixel let's call it Google EC so enhanced conversions GTM I like to write what it does so that I can easily identify at a later stage what the code is what so click on add pixel you can leave the permissions and data sale as default we paste it in here click on save and click on connect and that is that step done now in Google Tag Manager what we want to do is go to admin click on import container and then on my website you will be able to download the file which is a JSON file that holds all the information so what you want to do is choose container file select it and then we want to choose the workspace and click on existing select your default workspace select merge and then confirm now everything is installed what we want to do is change the Google Ads ID and the label for the conversion so we go to tags we click on the google ads shopify pixel conversion tracking by feed army and then click on the pencil icon and then you can see here two fields that just says one two three four that is the id and the label we go to google ads and we go and create a new conversion action just choose a website any website will do it doesn't really matter scan then we want to go all the way to the bottom and click on add a conversion action manually we want to select purchase as the goal and action optimization the conversion name I will call it Shopify pixel GTM we want to use different values for each conversion and then click on done scroll to the bottom and click on save and continue now we want to choose use Google Tag Manager we select our conversion ID 
and we paste it into the conversion ID in Google Tag Manager. We go back to Google Ads and we click on the label, go to Google Tag Manager and paste the conversion label. Now click on save and now we can submit the change. So let's call this Shopify Enhanced Conversions. Publish. Then in Google Ads, we want to go and click on Done. Then select our pixel. We scroll to the bottom and click on Enhanced Conversions. Turn on Enhanced Conversions. Select Google Tag or Google Tag Manager. Click on Next. Just type in any old character. Check URL. The reason we want to do that is to force an error so that we can select one manually. Then we select Google Tag Manager, click on Next, click on Save, and you're done. Enhanced conversions will then be available within two to three days. It can be quicker, can be a little bit slower, depending on when you get a conversion and when the end user, especially in Europe, allows you to track such data. Um, so again, all of this is for free. You can visit my website to get all the coding and instructions uh, outlined in uh, written form. Um, so if you want to help out my business, feel free to leave a review. That will help me a lot. And uh, if you want any customizations or you need uh, certain improvements, feel free to reach out. I specialize in Google Shopping and Merchant Center. Uh, so any uh, work that you would like me to do, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.